What's good everybody man, it's your boy King Chow. We back with another video, man. If you're new, you know what to do. Be sure to go click that subscribe button right now. Today I'll be asking top basketball influencers their thoughts on the evolution of basketball. But before we continue with the video, I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, ESPN Plus. Now a lot of y'all probably questioning what is ESPN Plus? ESPN Plus is the streaming service that delivers live sports from the best leagues in the world. An original series from the biggest names in sports, all in HD, all on your favorite device. Devices. And on top of all the amazing basketball content that ESPN Plus has to offer. My favorite is when Kobe Bryant broke down Steph Curry games in the original series detail. Alright guys, so I interviewed these four people. The first person we're going to talk to is Austin Mills. Let's get right into it, man. Alright guys, we got Austin oh, Mills Sarah, my here, boy. man. You guys already know the background. Ex-Baylor player. Played there, what, two years? Yep, played there two years. Two years, played at Pepperdine? Yep, two years. Two years. You know, maybe, 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 maybe to the league. We don't know, you know what I'm saying? But uh, three-point ah. contest at the might be able to win it. It's a little much. You know? Alright, Austin, I got a question for you. Okay, bro. ready. How do you think the game of basketball has evolved within, we'll just say, the last 10 years? He might, he's going to say he's shooting, bro. Any category. 10 he years. Austin's Austin a sniper, man. Shooting. What, how do you think it evolved? All right, well, I'm going to go, first one would be shooting, of course. The floor has opened up so much now because of the shooters, and there's not really traditional big men in the game anymore because if you're a big man and you can't shoot three, you can't keep up, you can't hang. As a big, you have to be able to shoot threes now. So I think the number one thing about the entire game that has changed is the three-point shot. Everyone on the floor can shoot the three now. And for the most part, we don't have big, slow, traditional bigs. We have bigs that can run the floor and spread the floor and shoot threes. All right, so Austin Mills does make a great point, you guys. In today's league, it's crazy, man. I know when I was watching back in the day, like in the 2000s, no big man was really shooting three-pointers. If anything, power forwards were really even shooting, like the Dirk Nowinski maybe, you know, and it was really rare to come across like a center power forward that could shoot threes the way they shoot threes nowadays. Look, you got Porzingis. I know Kevin Durant isn't a center or powerful, or well, you know, he can run small forward usually, but he's seven foot. Brooke Lopez, like you got all these like Vucevic. There's so many centers and power forwards nowadays that can shoot threes. It almost is like they shoot better than guards sometimes. I feel like the game has evolved heavily on shooting. If you can't shoot, in the league you might not you might not survive in the league that's just how it really is man you guys comment down below how you guys feel about my opinion and austin's opinion right now all right guys i know we're talking a lot about basketball but i had to let y'all know that espn plus offers thousands of live events for ufc nhl mlb and many more and if for all my college football fans out there man you can now stream over 500 plus games this season from over 16 conferences across the country including the sec big 12 and the american the best seat in the house is on ESPN Plus. All right, guys, now we're going to move into Cam's opinion on how the game has evolved within the years in the NBA. All right, y'all, we got Cam Wilder here. You guys already know Cam, man. Uh, did you play college basketball? I did. Okay, you did play college basketball. Maybe could have moved. I don't know. Basketball. How y'all? All right, Cam, I got a question. Yeah. How do you think the game of basketball has evolved throughout the years? I think shooting. You know what I'm right. saying? Everything back then was just taking it to the rim, shooting. You know, Steph Curry is the reason the game has changed. You know, uh, Curry and his deep threes, people don't, you know, take it to the rim as much anymore. It's not aggressive anymore. You know, defense, you can hack a little bit. You can arm, arm bar a little bit back then. Now you can't, can't do that anymore. And Steph Curry kind of changed the way people play now. More shooters now, you know what I mean? So, so. you would say the mid range is kind of like, eh? Yeah, mid range is kind of gone. You know, there's maybe people here and there like DeMar DeRozan and you know, what? Harden sometimes does it, but mid-range is kind of uh, gone now. Now, Cam actually made a great point. He touched on the shooting just like Austin. But I think the main thing that I got from him, man, was Steph Curry. I think Curry really changed the game for everybody, bro. Because I remember when the Warriors went on that championship run, it was like everybody on the team could shoot. And it was mainly like Steph pulling from like mid-half court. Steph pulling from three-fourths court, half court. Like he was making everything, bro. And he just made it look so easy. He scored so easy. And I think that's why in today's game, we score so many points like the NBA like some teams average like 120 points back then bro If you were scoring 120 points, it was a blowout. You know what I'm saying now I want you guys to comment down below how you guys feel about this discussion Do you guys think Steph Curry really changed the game of basketball and since I have your attention Let me talk to you a little bit more about ESPN plus ESPN plus features exclusive original series Greeny, Payton's places Why not us fam you Abby's places and if you're a Tom Brady fan, you're gonna love this one ESPN plus also has this new series coming in November called Man in the Arena, which will take a deep dive into Tom Brady's 10 Super Bowl 
solo appearances. ESPN Plus subscribers can stream now or download select content where they can watch it anywhere and anytime. And now for my UFC fans, man. I know a lot of y'all UFC fans nowadays. ESPN Plus has you covered. ESPN Plus is your destination for UFC pay-per-view events. Fight Nights, The Ultimate Fighter, Dana White's Contender Series, Archives of the UFC Greatest Fights, UFC Destin, and more. All right, guys, so we have Devin Williams right here, man. You guys already know Dev, just straight bucket, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? He really is. So we're gonna see what Devin has to say about how the game has evolved within the years. Let's get straight to it, man. All right, guys, with Devin Williams in the lab, you guys already know Dev and all that good stuff. All right, Dev, got a quick question, man. All right, how do you think the game of basketball has evolved within the last five to 10 years? The last five to 10 years, wow. I mean, there's so many different things from hand checking, the rules of hand checking, it's a lot harder to guard because you can't hand check. But a lot of players know how to deal with that a little bit better. Um, obviously the shooting, the shooting is going crazy uh, nowadays. There's a little bit less dribbling. Whereas when Steve Francis, Kobe Bryant, all those guys were coming, T-Mac, they, they were like more ISO oriented. Now it's more team involved. So now you're more downhill with your attacks, running at people, um, not dribbling as much. Even guys like Kyrie who are known for dribble, they're pretty efficient with the way they get to the basket. Um, and it's free form, right? So you're seeing more movement, nice movement, um, real sticky handles like Steph Curry is crazy with his ball handling. Uh, like I said, Kyrie, Kemba, but they're all quick attacks. So that's kind of some of the things I'm seeing are different nowadays. All right, guys, so Dev does make a good point. The hand checking nowadays is it's so tough to call, man, because like you got players like Harden and Trey Young that take advantage of the hand check, man, and get a foul call every time. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below how you guys feel about hand checking. And the next one that Dev kind of elaborated on was teamwork. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just swing the ball now, bro. Like you guys seen the Warriors when they went on that championship run. Like that's a perfect example. They played the best team ball possible. When the Cavs were down 3-1 in the series, their best, they played the best team basketball. They had to play the most complete game as a team to win the game, you know what I'm saying? Like back then, how Dev was talking about, I remember, you know, Kobe used to go out there and just score 60 points and win the game just for his team, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Dev said T-Mac, T-Mac was the exact same way. So y'all comment down below how you guys feel about those two topics that Dev talked on and what you guys think about my own opinion too. And a couple more facts about ESPN Plus that I know you guys wanna know about, man. ESPN Plus subscribers get access to the complete award-winning 30 for 30 library. And the best part about ESPN Plus, man, you can stream from home or on the go. And you don't even have to worry about quality. ESPN Plus has you covered. All quality is in HD. So they're made for smartphones, tablets, and even the big screen TV, man. All right, last but not least, man, we got my boy Marcellus Howard. We're gonna see what he has to say about the evolution of basketball. I feel like basketball has completely evolutionized from where we started to where we are today. Um, a big part of the evolution has been ball handling. Back in the day, ball handling wasn't as flashy. It was more keep the ball in the front or back your opponent down, back to the basket type of dribble. Now we got, in today's game, more flashy, more crafty because the players are more shifty. They're able to throw more combos. They're able to do more stuff with the basketball. It's just times have changed, and that's okay. But the game has definitely evolutionized, and I think ball handling is a big part of that. And I agree with Marcellus, man. I feel like in today's game, there's just so many different moves you can do. There's so many like new steps that are involved. We got sidestep. We don't really have the regular step back anymore, man. Um, I just feel like you know the zero step, the step through. There's just so many different things that players can do now, and that honestly changes the way they dribble the way they handle the way they move spin moves are crazy nowadays in and out crossover it just i just feel like the game has changed so much that these players got so many moves in their bag bro like i i, I don't know let me know in the comment section what you guys think and how you guys feel do you guys agree with marcellus do you guys agree with me um you know let me know your opinion on how you feel about the evolution of basketball with dribbling all right guys so i had those four basketball influencers tell me their opinion on how they think the game of basketball has evolved in the nba i want you guys to comment down below right now what was your favorite topic? Who was your favorite influencer that like, gave their opinion on it? And do you guys agree with all of us, man? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, man. Much love to each and every one of you guys. And another big shout out to ESPN Plus for sponsoring this video.